Hi everyone, here's a strong yoga flow to help set you up for the day. I hope you enjoy it. You're going to breathe in, reach the arms up. Exhale as you fold forwards, reaching for your toes. You can bend your knees here if you need to. Breathe in, lift the head and the chest. Exhale, step back to a nice strong high plank. Take a second in high plank, then lower all the way down. Slide the hands forwards, keep the lower ribs on the mat. It's just a nice gentle upper back extension. Exhale, hands under your shoulders, tuck your toes under. Press up nice and strong, lift the hips up high. And these first few downward dogs, you're just going to bend and extend alternate legs. Take the heels towards the floor, bend and extend. Good. And then look ahead of you, step the feet forwards, exhale, head in, and breathe in, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands by your sides. Good. Two more. Breathe in, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold forwards. Notice how you get a little bit more flexible with each one of the, these that you do. Just take a moment and uh, high plank just helps get you warm. Lower down. Slide the hands forwards. Breathe in, lift the head and the chest. Take the shoulders away from the ears. Hands back underneath your shoulders. Press up and lift the hips up high and again bend and extend alternate legs bend and extend just warming up the calves and the hamstrings getting everything moving good and then look ahead of you nice big step forwards exhale head in breathe in reach the arms up Exhale, hands by your sides. Last one. Notice how much more flexible you're getting with each one of these that we're doing. Reach forward. Inhale, lift the head and the chest. Exhale, step back. High plank just for a second. Lower all the way down. Breathe in, lift the head and the chest. Exhale, hands under your shoulders. Tuck your toes under. Strong press up. Lift the hips high. This time you're going to extend both heels towards the floor, keep the legs straight, lift the kneecaps up, engage the quads, Good. draw the belly button back towards the spine, engage the abs, push with the hands, Good. and breathe, nice deep breaths. Then look ahead a few big step forwards. Exhale, head in and breathe in. Reach the arms up. Exhale, hands by your sides. Good, a little bit different this time, some upper back rotations. So you're going to breathe in, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, lift the head and chest. Exhale, step back to a high plank. Lower all the way down. Lower ribs on the mat, just a nice gentle upper back extension. Hands under your shoulders, tuck your toes under, press up, hips high. Take your left foot to the outside of your left hand, rotate to your right. Remember the movement comes from your upper back, so try to keep the hips level. Rotate left, left hand down, rotate right, right hand down, rotate left. Left hand down, step back with your left foot, hips high, heels down, and then step forward with your right, rotate to your left, left hand down, rotate right, right hand down, rotate left, left hand down, last time, rotate to your right. Good. Step back with your right, lift the hips up high. Last five breaths in downward dog. Heels towards the floor. Good, nice deep breaths through the nose. Two, three, four, and five. Good, everybody. Drop down onto your knees. You're going to sit all the way back onto your heels. Forehead down and take two nice deep breaths here. 
Just observe how your abdomen expands onto your thighs. As you breathe in and as you exhale, the abs contract. Okay, from there, we're going to do a nice bit of uh, spiral movement. So just take your hands forward, you're still sitting back, and I want you to keep your chest really low to the floor, to the mat. So your lower back will arch as you come through. And then you're going to lift your head, lift your shoulders, round your upper back, middle back, lower back, and sit back onto your heels. And we're going to do the same thing again, elbows down, bring the chest through. So your back is arched at this point. Then lift your head, lift your shoulders, round through your upper, middle, lower back, sit back on your heels. Good. And once you get the movement, you can go a little bit quicker, but not too quick. You're just Feeling your spine moving in different directions and really trying to articulate one vertebra at a time as you lift your upper back, middle back, lower back, sit back and then the opposite way as you arch through your lower, middle and upper back. Good. Okay. Good. Sit back, extend the arms. Rest the elbows and relax. Okay, good. From there, you're going to come up onto all fours and <clears throat> hands directly underneath your shoulders, knees directly underneath your hips, and you're just going to make big circles with the hips. Good. Circles with the hips. One direction and then go back in the opposite direction. Good. And back to a neutral position, you're going to tuck the toes under, lift the hips up high, extend the heels down, and then look ahead if you walk the feet forwards, exhale, head in, and breathe in, reach the arms up, and exhale, hands by your sides. Good, okay. From here, you're going to step back with your left foot, turn your right toes in a little bit, turn your left toes away from you. And remember this imaginary line through the center of the mat, center of your body. Try to stick to that line, breathe in, reach the arms up. And as you exhale, you're going to go sideways over this left leg this time, just go to where it feels good for you. It feels like you're getting a nice hamstring stretch, keep this right hip back, then turn the head and look up at this right hand. Two nice deep breaths here. Good. You're going to bend into that left knee, push through the left foot, come carefully all the way back up, turn your left toes in, right toes away from you, arms up, you're going to breathe in, Exhale, go sideways along that imaginary center line over your right foot this time. Keep the left hip back and then turn the head and look up at this left hand this time. Really reaching towards the ceiling or the sky if you're outside. Good. Then bend into that right knee, push through your right foot, come all the way back up again. Turn your right toes in again, left toes away from you, hands onto your hips, and just bend and straighten into this left knee. So just adjust your legs. We're all different kind of heights and um, leg lengths. So just adjust your legs to make sure you're getting a good stretch. This is all about opening the hips. Tuck your tailbone under um, and bend and straighten the leg. Bend into that left knee. Okay, you want your left knee directly above your left ankle. And you don't want it drifting in, you want it out to the side. Rest your left arm and your left thigh. Try to get your right hand all the way back. And then release the right arm, rotate the palm, 
Take the arm up and over and really reach right to your fingertips. Up your right hand, really reach across. And then just turn the head, look underneath the right hand, feel like you're almost rolling onto your back. Good. Okay, breathe in, come all the way back up. Turn the left toes in, right toes away from you. Hands onto your hips. And again, you're gonna bend and straighten into this right knee this time. Keep the tailbone tucked under, get the stretch, opening in the hips. Good. Good. Bend into that right knee this time. Right knee over right ankle, tracking over your toes. Rest your right arm on your right thigh, left hand all the way back, and then you're gonna release that left arm, rotate the palm, take the arm up and over, and turn the head, and just feel that lovely stretch all down the left side of your body. Reach to your fingertips. Good. Breathe in, come all the way back up. Last standing posture, turn your right toes in, left toes away from you, and you're going to turn your torso all the way over this left leg, bend into your left knee, and feel that lovely hip flexor stretch. Breathe in, reach up with your right elbow, exhale, come forwards, and then rotate through your upper back, press the palms together, and look up at your left elbow. Two nice deep breaths here. Good, breathe in, rotate back to centre. Turn your left toes in, right toes away from you. Turn the torso to face over this right leg this time. Bend into your right knee, just bring the chest forward slightly. And then feel this nice stretch on your right uh, left hip flexors. Breathe in, reach up with your left elbow. Exhale, take your left elbow across your bent right knee. Rotate through the upper back and look up at your right elbow this time. Two nice deep breaths. Good. Okay, then you're going to rotate all the way back to centre and knees up straight and feet parallel and just heel to the feet in together a little bit. Good, okay, so we're just going to do some squats here, okay, so just for a bit more leg strength and a bit of flexibility around the hips. So you're going to stand feet and um, shoulder width apart, chest lifted, <clears throat> arms up good we'll go for 10 squats in this position and just see how we get on but try to keep your form inhale on the way down exhale as you come up good one good lower down think about your form two so we slow things down just a little bit three good four get as low as you can feet parallel Try to grip with your feet as well, so you're creating an arch in your foot. Five, squeeze the glutes as you come up, good. Six, chest lifted, good. Seven, three more. Eight, good. Nine, and ten. Lovely, okay, good. So now you're going to take your feet a little bit wider. <clears throat> and again, we're really focusing on our form here. So just um, press your big toes into the floor, into the mat. And just notice how that, create, that helps activate the arch in your foot, okay? So especially useful if you're a little bit, um, if you over pronate a little bit like me. So. Just work towards the outside edge of your feet, press with your toes, activate the arch, hands onto your hips. You're gonna breathe in, exhale, knees track over toes, chest up, knees track over toes, keep everything active. 
Good, and you're going to sit all the way back. Elbows on the inside of the knees. Just press the knees away from you. Press the palms together. Look up. Good. And breathe. A few nice deep breaths here. Chest up. One more deep breath. Lovely. Good, everybody. Take your hands forwards and come onto your knees. <coughs> or if this isn't good for you, you can sit down and take your legs wide or soles of the feet together, knees wide, okay? But if your knees are okay at the moment, just come onto your left knee and just come forwards and back. <coughs> Get the adductor stretch on this right leg. Good. Then you're going to turn your toes up to the ceiling and extend the leg away from you. Draw the toes up towards your face. Activate your quads. Good. Good. Okay, so come forwards onto your right knee this time. Extend your left leg away from you. <coughs> Hands forwards and again just come forwards and back. Toes point forwards. Good. Good. Feel that lovely stretch in the adductors on your left leg. And then you're going to turn your toes up towards the ceiling, extend this leg away from you, and then again keeping everything active. Draw the toes up towards your face, contract your quads, really strong active leg and feel the hamstrings release. Good. Lovely everybody. Okay. <clears throat> Just come back into a kneeling position and you're going to sit down. Good. And um, <clears throat> bend the knees up. Good. So we're going to extend the legs out in front of you and we're just going to do a little bit of work on your core, on your upper back. So place the hands either side of your hips. You're going to breathe in and as you exhale, I want you to draw the shoulder blades back together. Keep the chest lifted and hold for a count of five. Good. That's two, three, four and five. You can relax a little bit there. Good. And again, you're going to squeeze the shoulder blades together. Lift the chest up. Lift up uh, as much as you can. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Hold. One, two, three, four, five. Good. And just relax. Relax. And it takes quite a bit of effort to do this. We're really kind of strengthening deeper core muscles here. Last time, hands by your hips, breathe in, exhale, almost lifting the torso out of the pelvis, squeeze the shoulder blades together and hold one, two, three, four, five. Good, take the arms up, just notice, draw the belly button, notice how you're Draw the belly button back towards your spine. Notice how your core is strongly engaged to keep you here. Good. Okay. So, keeping that nice, tall torso. Take your legs as wide as they'll go. <coughs> Good. Take your hands behind your back. And I want you to, again, think about lifting up out of your um, pelvis. Just creating a little bit of space around your hips. And then you're going to try to work these hands forwards, but without collapsing like this. Keep the torso long, keep the chest up, come forwards, come forwards, and draw the toes up towards your face. <coughs> Good. Take, uh, legs wide, toes up towards your face, hands forwards. Good. Take a few nice deep breaths here.
Good. Okay. Then you're just going to walk your hands across to this right leg. So your hands, you're not forcing anything at the minute. Your hands are on your shins, on your ankles, or towards this right foot. But don't overdo it just yet. And then, I want, if you can, catch hold of your foot with your right hand. Then I want you to breathe in, reach up with this left arm and exhale, take the left arm up and over so it becomes a bit of a side stretch as well. See if you can lift your left elbow, look underneath your left elbow. Good. Two nice deep breaths here. Lovely, then walk the hands forwards again. <clears throat> so you should be feeling this strongly in the hamstrings and the adductors. Good. Also working through your hips. Walk your hands across to your left leg this time. So again, just rest your hands on your shins, on your ankles, on your foot, just wherever you are. It is fine. You're just letting your Muscles just get used to that. Stretch. And then breathe in. Take hold of your left foot if that's possible for you. If not, just your ankle is fine. Breathe in. Reach up with your right arm this time. Take your right arm up and over. And then you're reaching towards this left foot. You're lifting up your right elbow. Just look underneath your right elbow. You get a nice side stretch, a nice stretch across the lower back. Good. Okay, and then slowly coming forwards, slowly walking the hands forwards, keeping the chest lifted, drawing the toes up towards your face, driving your knees down towards the mat or the floor. There's a lot going on. Good. Good. Nice deep breath. Lovely. Well done, everybody. Walk the hands back in again. <clears throat> Bring the knees in together. Good. And that's strong work on your legs, but it's good. It's very high, a very effective um, stretch for the hamstrings and the adductors. So bring the knees in together, feet in together. Again, you're going to engage your uh, core muscles here, so really switch on your lower abs in particular. Arms out straight, breathe in, exhale, pick up the feet, and you're going to extend the legs and hold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We'll call it, call it 20 there. I wasn't leaning against that radiator, honestly. It was still too far back. Okay, so you're going to turn around and lie on your back and we're going to spend a good five minutes on, again, spinal mobility, just to make sure your backs are feeling good after this. So um, lie on your back. <clears throat> Carefully roll down and hug the knees into the chest. Hug the knees in, gently rock side to side. Remember it's very normal to feel a little bit of discomfort in your back when you're doing these practices, when you're really activating some um, deep core muscles, it's quite normal. Um, you're strengthening them at the same time, so over time your core your, is getting stronger, so just don't let that worry you. Put your feet flat on the floor, and knee, feet hip distance apart, and you're gonna put your hands onto your abdomen. We'll just take five breaths here, just to really um, get the pelvis in a nice position. So just put your hands onto your abdomen, you're gonna breathe in, relax. 
As you exhale, I want you to draw your belly button back towards the floor, back towards the spine, flatten out that curve in your lower back, tighten the abs. Good, breathe in, relax. Exhale, contract the abs, draw the belly button back and really flatten that curve, really press your lower back against the floor. Good, three more, breathe in, tilt forwards. And exhale, press your lower back against the floor. Try to be really active with it as well. So as you're exhaling, you're really tightening, contracting your abs. Two more. Breathe in, tilt the pelvis forwards. And exhale, tighten the abs. Press your lower back against the floor. Last one. Breathe in, tilt the pelvis forwards. And exhale, press your lower back into the floor. Good, and just relax, good. Take your arms wide if you can. And you're gonna breathe in. Exhale, take your knees across to your right. Keep your shoulders on the floor. Breathe in, center. Exhale, take your knees across to your left. Breathe in, back to center. Exhale, knees across to your right. Inhale, center. Exhale, knees across to your left. Good. And then just back to centre. You're going to extend your right leg and you're going to take your left knee across your right thigh. So it's a full spinal twist to your lower back. I want you to keep your shoulders on the floor. Extend your left arm and turn your head and look over your left shoulder. Good. See if you can draw that knee up a little bit. Rotate through the lower back. Good. Okay, and carefully back to centre. Extend your left leg out in front of you. Draw the right knee in. Right knee across your left thigh. And you're going to extend the right arm Turn the head and look over the right arm. Good. Good. Okay, and then come all the way back to centre. Place both feet flat onto the floor, flat onto the mat. And we're just going to do some articulation again through our spine. And I want you to breathe in. And as you exhale, press your lower back onto the floor and slowly, slowly roll up onto your shoulders. And then as you go down, just see if you can try and feel one vertebra at a time through your upper, middle and lower back. Really press your lower back against the floor. Once more, breathe in. Notice how the pelvis just tilts forwards a little bit. And then as you exhale, <coughs> press your lower back into the floor. Lift the hips up off the floor. Lift the middle back off the floor. And come onto your upper back. And then again, slowly, slowly lower down. One vertebra at a time. Feel your back connect with the floor beneath you. Your middle lower back, rest your pelvis onto the floor and just relax everybody. Good, okay. So from there, last time, hug your knees into your chest, hug your knees in, just gently rock side to side. Good. And if your lower back is feeling okay, then you can fully extend the legs out in front of you. And you're going to completely switch off your hips. So that will allow your feet to just fall out to the side. And I want you just to place uh, your hands on either side of your body. Keep your eyes closed. Chin tucked in towards your chest slightly. And I want you to take your awareness to your breathing. Just notice how when you take a deep breath in, 
your abdomen rises up. And as you exhale, it falls back down. We're going to try and take five nice, even, steady breaths. You want me to breathe in for a count of about four and then breathe out for a count of about four or five. Don't get too hung up on it. I'll help you guide the breath. So when you're ready, breathe in. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And again, inhale. Inhale, exhale. Last one, just breathe in and exhale. We're just going to spend another minute lying in complete stillness. And just try to observe what's going on in your body. Observe your breathing. Try and notice your mind as well, if it wanders off. And if you're able to bring it back, try to find a point that you can focus on like your breathing. And relax. One more nice deep breath, everybody. Just try to feel your shoulders, your body relax on the exhale. And from there, just slowly bring your hands together, interlock your fingers, bring your feet together. Turn your palms inside out, reach up above your head, point your toes, nice big stretch. And then hug the knees into the chest, hug the knees in. And roll over onto your right hand side. And very slowly you're going to come up with a, up to a seated position for the end of this morning's practice. <clears throat> Namaste everybody, Namaste.